and welcome to this video. So, this video, as you can see by the title, guess where we're going? We're going to Disney World. So, it is time to pack. Today is Saturday. I leave on Monday, but tomorrow I work and I think I'm going to be a little too tired to pack like everything. So, I'm going to do the majority now and then tomorrow I'll pack like the last minute things or the things that I need to use tomorrow that I obviously can't pack yet. But, let me just show you guys what I'm using. I'm using this black luggage that was my dad's. Um... The reason is, is because I have the same thing in purple, but it's the one I took to California and it doesn't roll very well. And I really, I don't feel like fighting with my luggage through the whole airport, like dragging it and it not wanting to roll. So I'm using this one and it also has a carry on inside of here, like the little bag. So I'm going to use that. But here's the thing. I hear that the airport is a mess and I am so sorry, but I cannot sacrifice the outfits. So I'm packing my outfits in my carry-on in case flights get canceled or anything like that my bags are not lost or not like lost but they, they don't get there with me that would not go over well so i am going to pack most of my stuff into my carry-on because either way like what do you take in a carry-on i literally have been saying this for the last few days the luggage is going to go with a couple of things some of the bulkier stuff um but we're gonna go ahead and pack now so Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, let me show you guys what I'm using um, as for like organization. So I got some things that I used for California that helps. So I got packing cubes. These are from Shein um, and they're pretty like thin. They're not like the best, but they worked really well to keep my stuff organized. So I have this one and then it came with this little pouch and I think I have a bigger one in my closet. I'll go ahead and get that right now. So I think that's what I'm gonna pack my clothes into. I have this uh, like charger case thing. It has like a lot of little slots, I guess. So this is what I use for my chargers. And then for jewelry, it's this like bead <laughs> organizer that my mom had that she gave me to use for California. And it actually worked really well because I had bought like a travel jewelry box, but I usually wear pretty bulky stuff and it didn't really fit. So I'm gonna use this again because it's pretty flat too. So that helps. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out all my outfits. It's only going to be three Disney bounds and one outfit to come back. So it's not a lot of stuff. It was definitely a lot more to take to California because I was there for so many more days. And by now, it's no surprise, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen the outfits. So if you don't follow my Instagram and you haven't seen the outfits, First of all, you should go follow my Instagram. It's linked down below. Second of all, you're going to see them now. Um, but if you want to go like, like the pictures on my Instagram, I would love that. So let's go ahead and lay all my outfits out. And I'll show you guys what they look like on the floor. And then that's how I like make sure I don't forget anything. And then we'll try and pack them into packing cubes because I want everything to fit in the carry-on. Okay, friends. So this is what we're dealing with. So we have the Remy outfit, Rapunzel, and the Bellhop. So for Remy, it's this bag, this belt, one of these tops. I gotta look at the picture and see which one I decided on. This skirt and this Eiffel Tower necklace. And then for Rapunzel, it's those ears. These little earrings are little like Rapunzel silhouettes. Pascal, the top, my skirt for my cosplay actually. That's gonna be the skirt for this look. And then the bag and then the Bellhop look is a black shirt. This jumpsuit I had already one of these little bags with just Tower of Terror pins and then this belt that I made to match like the color scheme and those are the ears. So now let's go ahead and pack these. What I'm gonna do first is I think I'm gonna roll all of the outfits like together with like the belts and things like that into this big bag. I think it'll fit, let's find out. I'm gonna time lapse this. pleased to announce that this lighting is actually just horrible that's probably not any better but it fits so on the side here I put the two bags but all of my clothes and my ears and Pascal fit into this packing cube which is like literally the size of like one side of the carry-on but that's fine because at least it'll have stuff in it and then the other side I'll put like my jewelry my laptop and my makeup bag and then that's probably it for the carry-on then for the luggage i'm putting my rapunzel lounge fly my bulky pair of black filas and a blanket so that's literally it that's going in the luggage got my clothes already ready to go i do need to pack an outfit though to fly back in so i need to figure that out 
and I also think I need to make that fit into this bag but no prob so I'll do that I'll pick out that outfit and then I'll move on to the big luggage okay so come for me I'm literally packing spirit jerseys to well I'm not packing it but I think I'm gonna wear a spirit jersey to get over there and I'm also packing a spirit jersey to come back Sorry, it's a good opportunity to wear them because I want to wear like something long sleeve for the airport. Obviously, long sleeve for Florida is not ideal because it's hot over there. I'll take a t-shirt for like the day I get over there to change into because I know that I probably won't survive in this. Maybe. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been to Florida. But on the way back, I'll just wear this. So I have leggings and a spirit jersey and that's the fit to come home in. Hello friends. Update. So. Let me show you guys what I've got going on in the carry-on and then what I've got in the luggage. Here is the carry-on. So here are the ears, the entire outfits, like an outfit to come back in. Everything is in there. And then here's the rummy bag. And then on the other side of the carry-on, I put my jewelry and then my bag for the Tower of Terror outfit. And then my laptop will go here. Makeup bag fits here, probably my hair stuff. And then that's literally all I need from that. And then on the luggage, I have my blanket right there. Um, my Rapunzel lounge fly and then the obvious undergarments and like socks and things like that and then over here Oh, that's my camera charger. I have my filas and literally that's like it Okay, so now that I've showed you guys where we're at. I'm honestly pretty much done with this stuff now I think we'll go ahead and move on to like the park bag slash like personal bag for the plane um, And it's also gonna be my purse while we're there. Let me just show you guys which one it is I'm going to be using this lounge fly. It is a Disney Parks exclusive one that I got at Disneyland last month. So this is going to be my park bag slash plane bag, like purse, because all I'm really going to take in it is my phone. I'm going to put this in here with my chargers, my vlog camera, what else? Like my wallet, things like that, but that will all fit in here and this will be like easy access on the plane. The carry-on, I won't be needing anything from that really most of the day and then the luggage stuff obviously is going in the luggage because I don't need it immediately. Let's go ahead and do this and I'm going to switch wallets from the one that I have right now. Right now I'm like in between two purses like I have some of my belongings in one bag and then I have some other ones in another purse so right now I need to put everything into one bag and make it look cute and organized and I'm also going to switch to a wallet. I'm going to use the wallet that I used in California because it's a little bit smaller. It is this Pascal one. It is the smallest one that I have that has a spot for coins. Before I start putting stuff in here, I want to show you guys how roomy it is. So it's super nice in here and the lining fabric is so cute. It has ears and then this is the spot where you can put like your ears but I'm obviously not using it for that. I'm just using it because it has lots of pockets. Um, but then this pocket and then this front one which let me see if my phone fits in this front one. How convenient is that? Perfect. So, obviously that's where that's gonna go. I think the vlog camera can go in here. Let me see if how this fits. Okay, yeah. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move all my things from my other purse in here and I'll just show you guys how it's organized when that's done. I have returned. It might look the same to you, but it's not. So I'm using this Ariel bag that I've had for forever. And so inside of here, I put like a mini deodorant. I put some hand sanitizer. I put this little like on the go comb that like folds. I have a little mini body spray in here from Bath and Body Works. This is like my favorite scent ever. It's the Waikiki Beach Coconut. And I have some like icebreaker mints, some chapstick lotion, just the necessities. Oh, and band-aids because your girl always gets blisters for some reason. And then I have the wallet. Now all my stuff is in here. And then I have oil blotting sheets. This thing is so big, but I don't like taking them out. I've taken them out before um, the la with like the last box I had and it was a disaster. So never again. So I just leave them in there. And then in the back, I put the charger thing just to see how it fit. You guys can't see it, but wait, here it is. This thing, and it fits pretty good with like the rest of the stuff in there. So that is this bag. Now, one of the next things I'm gonna pack is my hair like things. So I was saying before I was interrupted by the camera dying that I was going to pack my hair stuff. While it was charging, I decided to pack it now. So what I have in here is my mini hairspray, my teasing brush because I do tease my roots. I have very straight, flat hair. So I tease my roots, my aerial brush, and my comb. These are for when I section my hair when I curl it. And last but not least, well, kind of. I'm still missing my straightener, but I need that tomorrow. So the straightener will go in 
tomorrow I have this little container that's from Amazon and it came really it came really full with like really cool stuff but I've kind of used some of the stuff up but it did come with like hair pins bobby pins so I just refilled it with like this little thing to tie my hair back there's some like butterfly clips that I will not be needing on this trip but they're there from the last time bobby pins tiny little hair ties and some like regular hair ties it did used to like clip but that broke so I use a rubber band and it works just fine so after I put the straightener in here, all my hair stuff will be complete. And the very last thing for today that I will discuss is using this tiny pouch. I put my masks in it the last time. And now for my masks, for this time around, I don't have masks that match my outfit. So I don't know if you all remember from the last Disney vlog. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. Um, I had a Dumbo mask that my dad had made for me for that outfit. And so tomorrow he's making um, a couple of masks. But he's going to do a gray one for my Remy outfit and a purple one for the Rapunzel outfit. And then I'm just going to wear like a black disposable one for the Bellhop Disney Bound. So since those are going to be done tomorrow, I'll pack them tomorrow. And I was putting my mask in this little pouch and it worked perfectly. And I'll also put like a couple of extra disposable ones in case it like falls or I lose or whatever. I always carry extra masks. So that will go into this bag, but that is for tomorrow. So let me, let me just give you guys one quick little round of what is in here and after that we're done for today all that's left is putting the last few things and the toiletries but again that'll be done most likely tomorrow into the bag with my parents stuff since we put it all together but let me just show you guys what I have for my luggage and then we'll call it quits for today so in the luggage obviously I told you guys it was gonna be empty I didn't expect for it to be that empty <laughs> but it's just my feelers and then on this side Literally, I already showed you guys that stuff. This will not be in here. This will obviously be on my back. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. This will probably go like right there. And then this will go like over there. But that's literally it. This side will probably just have to go like this empty. And I already mentioned everything else that was going to get packed tomorrow. So I won't repeat myself again because I already feel like I've been like, oh, I'll do this tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. So I feel like I've already repeated myself a lot of times. But... That is it for today. Um, I'll update you guys tomorrow when everything else is in here. Good night. Hi guys. Okay, so I have to be up in a few hours, but I just wanted to show you guys the finished packed luggage. Um, so one of the sides is still empty like it was yesterday because I really have nothing to put in it. Um, I have my little charger bag out because I'm still gonna put my phone charger in it tomorrow morning after I like charge my phone overnight. Um, so I'll put that in my bag in the morning, but nothing really crazy. And then I finally have my masks packed, my makeup bag. So nothing's really changed here. The only thing that did change is I threw in this t-shirt. I packed the rest of my hair things, like my straighteners in here. This is my makeup bag. And then I put my masks right here. And the bottom part is zipped up, but it's everything that was in there yesterday. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to wrap up this video and say thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry if it was all over the place. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope to be seeing you guys in my next video, which is going to be vlogging, like getting to Florida, a little bit of shopping when we get there, stuff like that. So I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.